Hello again, Kingston Town Administrator Keith Hickey with the latest version of This Week in Kingston for the week ending um, September 10th, uh, 2021. <clears throat> Hard to believe Labor Day's over and, and we're getting into fall. Kids are back in school, um, so things are going well there. Uh, fortunately, the COVID cases in town are uh, remain fairly neutral. We went from 52 to 59, so not a huge spike in the last week or so. But again, just for those who aren't vaccinated, please wear your masks. Um, obviously the school kids are wearing masks at school and, and if you are feeling, feeling ill, get tested, uh, and, uh, and keep yourself away from everybody else so things don't get worse. Um, in, in, uh, in speaking about that, we had another vaccination clinic last weekend at the intermediate school. We had, uh, uh, exactly a hundred people vaccinated last week. Uh, and m many of those, uh, most of those were, for first time vaccinations. So we have uh, people coming in now that, that, that uh, have not been vaccinated yet that, that uh, are getting their first vaccinations for whatever reason. So that's good news. Um, so the numbers continue to increase there. Uh, the Board of Health has uh, scheduled four more vaccination clinics at the intermediate school. Uh, those will all be on a Saturday and the dates are September 25th. Um, October 16th, November 6th, and December 4th. They all run from, from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 10 in, 10 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon. Um, you, can make, uh, you can make reservations, and at the below, below at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the, uh, the website that, that has the vaccination clinic address there, or you can just uh, pop into the intermediate school gym, uh, and it's first come, first serve, and you'll, uh, chances are, won't have a wait, so... Uh, again, anybody who wants to get vaccinated, uh, we're trying to make it as easy for you as possible uh, on a Saturday from 10 to 12 on the four dates that I just mentioned. Hopefully the uh, um, numbers start to go down a bit. Um, other things going on at Kingston, um, and some of you might be watching this after some of these events have occurred, unfortunately, um, but just to make you aware of what what uh, what's happening on uh, September 10th, Friday, September 10th, uh, the Board of Selectmen will be holding a um, short Board of Selectmen meeting uh, to vote on whether or not to um, exercise the right of first refusal on the 46 acres on Winthrop Street. Um, there is no public hearing at that meeting. Uh, it's just the board having a discussion of voting. Uh, they'll be making the decision, and the reason they're having it on a Friday is uh, on Thursday evening, um, September 9th, uh, the, um, the, uh, CPC is having a public hearing and voting on whether or not to fund, uh, some or all or none, I guess, of the, uh, the funding request, uh, made to them for the acquisition of the property. People may be aware it's an $800,000 cost. Uh, we're asking for the CPC funding, um, an application has been submitted, uh, by a group of, um, concerned residents. And uh, they'll be making the decision tonight, and the Board of Selectmen will be taking that information and making a decision on uh, September 10th at noontime. Uh, moving on from that, uh, on Saturday, September 11th, we are recognizing the um, 20th anniversary of, um, of uh, the attacks on uh, the World Trade Center, uh, the Pentagon. Um, and uh, the, the, as as we ha as Kingston has done now for 20 years, 19 years probably, um, we'll be having a, a, a memorial service at the uh, Kingston Fire Station on Pembroke Street. Um, that celebration or recognition uh, starts at 8:30 in the morning. There'll be a, it'll be a, a, a there'll be a, some of the other items that typically aren't on that uh, during that ceremony. Uh, to recognize the 20th anniversary uh, of, of that event. Uh, so if people are interested in coming by, um, it's open to the public. It's obviously free to the public, and we'd love to have people stop by. I know that you have one-day notice. Um, so hopefully those who um, are watching this before Saturday morning at 8.30 can, can, can attend. And they've advertised it uh, in all the social medias and whatnot as well. So hopefully we'll get a good crowd and uh, recognize the people who... Uh, sacrificed themselves for the for the betterment of the country in in that case and on september 11th and thank them very very much for all of their efforts and support um the board of selectmen um, um 
had a had a short meeting last Tuesday, this past Tuesday night. Uh, there, there really wasn't much uh, discussed or or, or uh, decided on. It was uh, some housekeeping things. There were some uh, the, uh, the appointment of a couple of employees. Um, so we're pleased about that. Um, and and uh, we're in the process of uh, developing our, our our warrant for the fall town meeting uh, that'll, that's going to come up in November. Um, if anybody who is interested in submitting a citizen's petition for that warrant, you have until five o'clock on September 21st uh, to do so. So please keep in mind that date. And uh, if you do have something you'd like to submit, uh, submit it to either the selectman's office or the town clerk's office. You need at least 100 signatures uh, of registered voters. So if you are interested, I would su respectfully suggest that you include, um, you know, 110 to 120 uh, signatures, just in case some of the people who think they're registered voters uh, are not and when, when that uh, petition is certified by the, uh, by the town clerk's office. You want to make sure if you're going to make the effort to, to have 100 registered voters. That's important. Uh, moving forward, we've got a board meeting uh, next week again. We'll be uh, where there'll be a number of things discussed. Um, but um, if you have any information, um, I'd urge you to uh, reach out to uh, to the town to the townhouse, and we'll be happy to try to answer any questions you have. Again, our new website's coming out in uh, about a month. Um, next week, during this week in, in review. What I'll try to do is, uh, with the technology capabilities of PAC TV, try to show um, what the front page of that website looks like, so you can get a sense at least of what it's going to look like and some of the features it's going to have. I, th I think it's going to be something people really, really appreciate. So, with that, I want to watch it. I thank everybody for watching again. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you on September 11th. Mm -hmm.